Lake Baikal Environment and Monitoring of the Water Pollution Due to Human Activities Somewhere in the faraway Siberia where legends are still alive, there is a lake, one of the oldest, the deepest and the most sophisticated places in the world, the true pearl of Siberia, Lake Baikal. Baikal contains 20% of the world's total unfrozen fresh water. Baikal holds as much water as the five North American Great Lakes combined. Each of Baikal is about 25 million years. Baikal Basin supports a variety of plant and animal species. More than 5,000 biological species inhabit Baikal. About 70% of them are endemic, such as Baikal seals. Baikal was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations. This is the real Baikal today. Baikal pollution of surface and groundwater bodies is an essential component of a negative impact on the lake. It is a complex problem, such as water pollution and air pollution. The Selenga River is the main inflow and the main source of pollution in Lake Baikal, with its waters fall into the lake as pollutants from disposed industries and chemicals from agriculture sites. Today the greatest threat of pollution to the lake is posed by following. The Baikalsk pulp and paper mill, which is located on the southern shore and creates over 50,000 cubic meters of water pollution and 20,000 tons of air pollution each year. Oil and mineral resources Mining Industrial sites Municipal wastewater treatment facilities Thermal and electric power stations Agriculture Railway systems Cities and villages Water transport Hunting and fishing Tourist and recreation centers Chemicals such as cadmium, zinc, iron and lead are found in Baikal water system. Air pollutants are mainly sulfur, nitrogen, carbon oxides. Other pollutants include polycyclic aromatic carbohydrates, petroleum, benzol, mercury, nitrogen containing organic matter, sulfides, formaldehyde and lignin. In the 21st century, remote sensing technologies are the helpful source of analyzing and monitoring environmental changes and threats. In order to extrapolate possible scenarios of the lake's future, remotely sensed variables are studied and analyzed using the online data analysis system created by the NASA Goddard Earth Science Data and Information Services Center. Investigation provides several data sets of ocean color variables. This first slide demonstrates chlorophyll A concentration over 10 years. Here we see the data range and the trend is increasing. Here we see the color aerophotic depth images, followed by this time series depicting a decrease in the aerophotic depth as expected. Here we see the dissolved organic matter color map, followed by the data points and slope particulate organic carbon, and the graphic. Diffuse attenuation coefficient and its trend. Analyzing current trends in Lake Baikal based on changes in ocean color variables over the last 10 years period, it is most likely that Lake Baikal will develop dead zones in future, when algae and phytoplankton are abundant in bodies of water, with excessive nutrients and pollutants if no precautions are taken. This algae bloom is harmful to aquatic environment, marine animals and humans, causing eutrophication because of the production of toxins and oxygen depletion. Algae bloom is the alert and strong evidence of the increased pollution in Lake Baikal. Possible solutions include mitigation and adaptation. Mitigation includes following. Inputs of nitrogen, phosphorus, iron and zinc should be decreased from farmland industrial runoffs carrying by the Selenga River from surrounding farmlands and industrial sites in Mongolia and Russia. Improvement of the land use. Achievement of the best international standards of enterprises in Russia and Mongolia. Reconstruction of the sewage treatment plant communities located on the shore of Lake Baikal. 
Remote sensing methods should be applied to monitor and forecast harmful algae bloom. New advanced technologies should be employed such as quick field tests based on immunoassays. Public education. Volunteering. Adaptation includes following. Alert warning systems that should be present if algae level is critical. Algae is used as a source of biofuel. Coordinated research and centralized environmental monitoring system are needed to study and analyze environmental impacts and trends, and to also anticipate any changes within the entire Baikal watershed. In the 21st century, the Baikal region has a chance to become a world model of sustainable development, and only under this condition, like Baikal, will be saved. <laughs>